In this video, I'm gonna be sharing how I am planting strawberries in rain gutters, believe it or not. I ran across this idea online. This is the first time that I'm trying this, so this is going to be kind of trial and error. But I'm gonna share with you some of the knowledge I've gained. And if you're new here, I love if you subscribe, and I'll be giving updates on either the success or failure of this throughout the year. Hopefully this will work out and we'll get a nice crop of strawberries. Now I've heard that some people are very successful with this, others not so much, so it's kind of on the fence, but I love the idea because because it's space saving. We're gonna be mounting the gutters to posts in my garden, so it's going to be vertical gardening. Uh, the major worry that I have right now is we live on kind of an open area of land. We get a lot of wind, so that's going to be my main concern. But we're going to try to make it so we can take the rain gutters down out of the wind if necessary. We'll see how this all goes. Hopefully it'll work out. Stay tuned, subscribe if you'd like, and let's get into it. I have the most incredible husband. I just got back from Home Depot. This is rain gutter, and I need to put posts in the ground, mount this to the rain gutter, plant the strawberries in, la 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 la. And I come home, and over in my garden, there's three posts already set in the ground on my dear husband so that I can get to work and finish it maybe tomorrow. He's amazing! Man, am I Ever one lucky woman. All right, back in my ugly painting attire. I am heading out to quickly paint some of those gutters tonight. So right here behind me are the three posts that he set for me. I bought six 10 foot gutters. I'm gonna be doing three on each side. And this dog would absolutely love to sink her teeth into a chicken. Coco, you know better. Those chickens are not for you. Yeah? Yeah, dad built, made a hole. Here we have all my gutters. I have six of these. These are the metal ones, or aluminum, and they are a little bit larger than your standard vinyl ones, but this gives definitely more room for the strawberries. And I'm back to using one of these glue guns. Boy, doesn't this bring back the memories of renovating the RV. Don't ever want to do that again, although it was a good experience, but I'm going to be gluing end caps onto these gutters with some of the Loctite glue that I have left over from the RV remodel. Oh, this comes out hard. Come on. Come on! Why can't things work? How do people put these things on? Why can't something that's supposed to look so easy just not just work? It's not snapping in. Everything's a mess. It's supposed to be an easy job. This looks like it's gonna take an eternity. Not an eternity, but forever. Not forever, but you know. <sighs> and it was supposed to take like five minutes to snap all these on and I'm just struggling with the first one. My husband came to my rescue. Isn't he nice? Cutter man. So he's going around crimping the edges with a vice grip, and then running a bead of glue along the inside, which definitely makes it easier, but it's still really hard to get it to fit in there. But he's amazing. You're changing the oil. What? Your truck just fell down. <laughs> Here, let me help you get it back up. There we go. All right, now. There we go. Now it won't come down. Now let me watch you change the oil. This is oil. Nolan got them all finished. We're gonna let them dry and I'll paint them later. Strawberries need well-drained soil, although they need a lot of water. You need to make sure that the soil isn't waterlogged, and so I am going to be drilling holes in the bottom of my rain gutters, and I have them all painted brown. So I'm just gonna be going along now and drilling holes in the bottom. Three done, three to go. Woo! 
So let me just pop in here quickly, interrupt the video to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. I know that right now in the current state of events, many of us have a lot more free time on our hands. One of my favorite things to do when I'm working on something mundane is to listen to something that fills my mind with knowledge. And if I have a spare minute to sit down, have some alone time, I love watching videos that spark my creativity and give me something new to think about, to think about doing, maybe some new projects to start. So whether it's sparking your creativity with a completely new field of interest or diving deeper into a passion you already have, Skillshare is a great community to join and be inspired by. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. So considering today's topic of gardening, Skillshare has a lot of helpful classes that give you a wide variety of topics, all in the niche of gardening. So after watching today's video, I would recommend that you check out Easy Gardening with Raised Beds by Sunny Green. But maybe you've been wanting to be more organized or embrace the minimalistic lifestyle. Or maybe you finally want to dig out that dusty old camera and learn how to use it. If so, make sure to check out Skillshare as they have thousands of classes that can teach you on practically any subject you could want. So I know that this whole global situation has many of us feeling a little bit down sometimes, but let's just focus on the positive and maybe we could dive into something like Skillshare, learn something new, and I'm going to have links below. So the first 1,000 people to use this link will get a two month free trial of premium membership on Skillshare. So make sure to check it out. I'll have it down in the description. And now let's get back to my strawberry beds. So I'm trying to make like a shelf bracket, I guess you'd call it, for on the posts. So what I was trying to figure out is what type of angle this is. This is not a 45. What I want to do is have this resting on a two by four this way. And I'm gonna have another one coming up like so. That way um, it doesn't tip off. So I needed to know what angle this is so I could cut it as such. So I just held this up like so. And then I just measured the top to the bottom and we're gonna go find out what type of angle that is. Here on my saw you can see there's different levels. 45 degrees, 40, 35. So I'm just going to hold this here and start moving this. This is, there's definitely a better way to do this. It's looking like that is very close to a 31.62 degree angle. That's just where it automatically fit to. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. This piece at the bottom, once I get the right measurement, is going to go against the post like so. And then this part right here is going to go like so. And then I'm going to have the gutter resting right on here. That's why I wanted this angle correct so that the gutter is resting against this without any extra space where it could flop back and forth. I got this piece right here. Now I'm propping up this other piece, my cross piece, and I'm just marking it right on here to see what angle I need to cut it off. That way I don't have to do any math. We'll just mark. Help hold this all together. If you just run a screw down through there, it's almost certain. Here's my husband bringing all my stuff to make my life easier. Aren't you amazing? Nolan so kindly brought the saw out so I don't have to be running back and forth. So right now I think I have all my templates figured out. I'm just out here making multiple cuts of the same thing, hoping it all works out. I'll show you a little bit later exactly how we're gonna be putting this up. All right, I hope I figured right. I have all these pieces cut. Now, to start figuring out if I can do this. Hopefully without asking for his help. My husband said I should probably do another piece that comes out to here just for more support so I won't have to really run a screw in through here. 
just yeah have this as support to take blocks of wood and go on the inside and basically make a double brace like so. It'll give a wider ledge and it's going to keep these two structured or fastened together. I'm not gonna bore you with all this. I don't have enough wood to complete it, but I'm gonna do what I can. Next step is going to be painting this and then planting the strawberries. Nolan is digging a water line out to my garden. So I have water right here and close to the chicken coop. It's gonna be super nice. He borrowed that from someone at work. Okay, so what are you doing? Doing this, yeah. What's this? Let me see. Did you know that's a screw, not a nail? Uh huh. Oh, did you get it pounded in? Pretty good. I'm not going to pound it. Wait for it to grab here and then tap it. I'm going to tap, tap. All right. And then tap it with a hammer. And then this, this, the one I did. What that? <laughs> This strawberry project is taking a few days here, but I am ready to start planting them. So I'm going to be using a high quality potting mix and also mix that with soil, about a one to one ratio. I'm just kind of guessing at this. Some people would use only potting soil, but I don't want to do that because soil helps retain the moisture so it doesn't dry out so quickly, especially since these are going to be up in the wind. My place is pretty windy. So I want to have soil mixed in with it. If I were to use only soil, number one, it'd be too heavy. It would get too hard and it just doesn't do nearly as well in a container. So I'm hoping a mix of about half and half will work. This is an experiment, we'll see. There's no use in chasing nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes. Riches all around you, open your eyes, open your eyes. You're after, so don't even try Cause you'll find Big magic in the mundane The big picture in a small frame Everything is sacred when you take time to notice Big love happens in the small moments Big love happens in the small moments Now this soil is not Super ideal because it's been raining and raining and raining around here. We tried to get topsoil out in our field while it was still wet, so it's pretty hard and clumpy. Hoping I can work some of that out. Not a good thing, it should be nice and soft, but we'll do our best here. Uh, I have two different kinds of strawberries. I have Seascape, which they are an ever bearing, which means they will be bearing strawberries throughout the summer. And then I also have a June bearing called Honey O. It was the only thing the greenhouse had in pots for June bearing. Um, I don't really know much about them, but I'm gonna try them. Uh, and then you get your harvest all in June and they yield a lot more strawberries. So that's really good for freezing. If you wanna put away, make jam. And then I don't have nearly as many of the seascapes, but I want some that bear fresh strawberries year round. So we can just go out and pick at will. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. And I believe, I'm gonna be planting them about every 10 inches apart. So 
I'm planning to put about 10 plants in each planter, in each gutter. So I've read that it's best to fertilize your strawberries every two weeks, especially ones that are in planters. So I'm gonna be fertilizing them right now. If I can find some good fertilizer online, I'll have links below to that. So I'm gonna be planting them, watering them, fertilizing them. So one thing my mom always taught me is when you take a plant out of a pot, the roots are often bound at the bottom. It's good to just free them up a little bit, although uh, these aren't too bad, so. All right, so for strawberry plants, what you want to do, there's two different kinds, like I mentioned before. There's June bearing, and then there's all bearing, or ever bearing, or I think they sometimes are called day neutral berries, where they put out blooms and blossoms all year and just bear small amounts throughout the summer. So this kind is my June bearing, and for the first year that they're planted, they're not gonna be giving any blossoms. So all year, you're supposed to be pinching off their blossoms and their buds right behind the blossom. You can either pinch them off or cut them off with like a scissors or a shears. You wanna do this to all your plants. Uh, for your ever-bearing plants, if you do plant them potted, they should start yielding the first year. So you want to keep pinching off the buds until at least where I'm at, about midsummer or early July. So I'll just be going along and constantly checking for buds and flowers, make sure they're pinched off um, until July for the everbearing. And I'll continue through July. I think they quit sending out blossoms in July for the June bearing. I have to do that yet. I'm running out of dirt. I'm only gonna be able to plant three tonight, but hopefully I can get more tomorrow. I still need to get the racks painted and then get it all set up, put hoses on, and I'm thinking I might put some type of mulch on the top, see if straw stays. Technically, it's more of a thing when they're planted in a garden rather than a container, but I still like to do it. Um, but I, don't, I won't be doing that tonight. Well, as projects usually have a way of doing, Ran out of paint after I finished the first post. Don't have enough dirt to finish planting my strawberries. I always hate leaving projects unfinished. But I really like how this is looking. Paint the other two, finish planting the strawberries, put them on, set up the water, and hope I don't kill my strawberries. I'm kind of good at killing plants. I'm loving how this turned out. I still have to snip off a couple of the buds on the bottom strawberries, but what I did is the bottom two gutters are ever bearing. I wanted them a little bit lower so Xander can come out and pick those. And then the top four are going to be June bearing. I really hope this works. I'm a little bit apprehensive with the wind. We'll see. I won't be getting any strawberries yet this year from the June bearing. Um, but hopefully I'll get some from the Everbearing. I need to put down soaker hoses so that I can easily keep them watered every day, make sure to fertilize them. So yeah, if you're interested to see how successful I am or not successful I am, subscribe, um, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, stick around and I'll try to keep you updated to see if this method actually works or if it's a bad, bad idea. 
I really hope it works because it'll be so nice to like pick strawberries at this level and not a whole lot of weeds to deal with. And yeah, I just like how it takes space from out of the garden and elevates it so you're doing like more vertical gardening. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Do you like cocoa? Mm -hmm. Is she helping you plant? No, I don't have hands. Oh, she doesn't have hands. Uh -uh. Coco, you don't have hands. Uh -huh. Okay.